Okay, it's uh, 2023, April 23, Sunday. It's just about eight o'clock. Uh, we've parked here in Sarsveld at the swimming pool. And we're going to do the Groene Weide over there past the green cricket nets. Uh, we're going to do the red route and then going up to the um, Silver River and making a circle route and coming back again. And five minutes later, here we are at the start of the Groene Weide. It's about 20 past 8 and we're at the Kaimans River and sunrise, beautiful sunrise and this is a tricky bit. You might want to remove your shoes but uh, if the water level's low you should be able to step on the rocks. Oops. Just be sure that the rocks are firm. Yep, slipping in the water there. Oops, that rock is not firm. Yeah, die can't you? This leaf like so. In tubes, well, so tubes still as a natir can be. Yeah, you can't get a little bit of a spinning cup back now. Volgend, myself, I must verdedig nie. And here's the path going up. Okay, it's about 25 to 9 and here we are at the window and there is a huge yellow wood tree on the other side. Quite a good photo opportunity, especially with the sunlight from that side, early in the morning. Late afternoon is not that great but early morning is a good one. Okay, it's about two minutes later and here's the split in the road. This one here is the return on the old road which we're not going to take today. The new path um, doesn't return on this. Um, we'll be returning on this path again but we'll take the left on the side. And this is still on the green and the blue and the red Groene Weide. And then further up ahead it's going to split. Okay, it's about 
<laughs> going on to 529 and there is no entry sign uh, I, I don't know if that route is more there, that's a very old route as it is in any way I have never stopped on that path, there was always no entry No, I don't know Look at Groene weide, to the right hand side. Okay, it's a, just past nine o'clock and uh, we're at the T-junction. And there's a red and a blue sign on that tree over there. And this is the way we're going. That way. And then it's a circle route going around and then this afternoon, we'll be coming back on this path with this cross beam tree over here. But if you're coming back from this side, there are no markings anywhere. And if you don't know this tree, you might very well just miss the turn off. See, the turn off is not marked. Are we coming back here, Mel? Yes. Yeah, we're we coming back from that side. I mean back from that side and then back in here again. Yeah, and then back in and then we're going. Okay, so um, here there's a circle basically coming now and this Yeah, this is the close of the circle. We're turning left and then we go around. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, we're the video. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's about 20 past 9. And here's a nice clearing in the forest. Might be a good place for a picnic spot. Looks like... Looks like there's a bench over there of some kind a little bit high, they might be sawing benches for sawing logs, I don't know this is a bit high, this is about hip height to me that one could be used to sit on but anyway, this is not a path and there used to be other things here as well lots of it and then Die ene is laag genoeg om op te sit, die ander ene is een beetje hoog, ek vermoed dit is daak bankies om stompe mee te saag Leer die stomp oor die bankie en dan kan jy hem saag op een manier, ek weet nie En dan sal stompe in die grond ingeplant, klomp van hulle, in rye So ek weet nie wat dit is nie So this might be a nice picnic spot, bring a blanket Throw it open Here's another another path through the forest, but it looks like it's closed. There's a there's a log or a stump or a branch or something across the way. So this is not the way to go. So we've come from this side. And there are the benches over there. That's the the non turn off and then here we have red and blue signs against the tree again it's about 25 past 9 here's a T-junction with a dirt road and then we're going to follow these signs towards the left hand side going up around and uh, eventually we'll come back around the back of the forest over there and on this road again towards the bottom and then take a turn off through the forest as far as I know are we going left? going left? going left? yeah same story and then we're coming around here again uh, I don't think we're coming up this way again, all the way up to here. We're coming, we're going to get onto this dirt road again at the bottom and then walk a short way up and then go through the forest, if I remember correctly. In other words, another kind of trail that leads us back yes. that way, not yeah. on this road. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like these Americans that talk. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me, let me take your, let me take your, your GoPro. There's your GoPro, here's my GoPro. <laughs> Yeah. 
just past 25 to 10. Both on the pot, forest walk. Yeah, I'll be going through the forest. You saw Afghan? It is possible to go around the top, but it's boring. It's open. Um, it can be hot on a, on a sunny day. This is the path where that sign, that Bos Van Pot sign, used to be at the beginning. And this is the path that's now under rehabilitation that doesn't have an entry anymore. Okay, it's about quarter to ten. And here's a split. Going straight is the blue route. We're going left up the hill. Um, that's a red route. Is that a near? Or is it a bril? Let's see if I'm going to get it. Okay. That's it up. We're catching spiders with my umbrella. <laughs> going on to 10 2. 10 to 10. There's a sign with the red footprint. And. Oh, sorry. We have just come up this little incline. There is a detour around, which is a little bit longer, but it's not quite as adventurous. I mean, following the footprint, we're going to the right. It's about five to ten, and here's the turn off up the hill, and here's a sign. The red footprint so that's the way ahead so here at this red footprint going up the hill over there is not the way it's a bit overgrown you could go that way but it's not very comfortable we're going to take the next left turning up the hill at the next pylon just past 10 o'clock and here's the red footprint i had in mind It looks like it's a little bit overgrown, but this is actually the way forward. There's a red footprint. And then, for now, we're going to the Silver River. We're going uphill that way. There's about 5 past 10, 7 past 10, and there's a pylon on our left hand side. The path takes a turn to the left going up the hill. Uh, through the underbrush, but we're going right way right down the hill. Okay, there isn't really a path here. That's sort of guess. Yeah, four minutes in years. Just follow your nose. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to eat Silver River? This is Silver River, as far as I know. Ten past ten. Five minutes coming down the hill, and it is possible to still go on further around the bend. Um, we lost the group. What they want to do, but it's it's already a lovely big spot over here. Okay, it's about twenty past ten. Here's a nice little pool. Lovely little spot for sitting around and having a picnic. Oh, and the view ahead, just by the way. It's over there, and 
it is possible to scramble up the ridge and then around over the top and then down through those wattle trees over there and then see so you end up around there somewhere and then you can scramble some more and then you remove your all your non-swimming clothes and your shoes <laughs> and you do a bit of rock climbing and then you do a swim and then you're at the top of the waterfall uh, those for this white rocks there Hello, Carl. <laughs> there's Carl there he is all right Yeah, it's about 20 past 11. I think it's been an hour since I, my last recording. And here's a little red sign that says 7 kilometers on my GPS. I've got a distance of just under 10. 10 kilometers. So that might be an old sign or a new sign or whatever. And then Here is a turn off to a swimming spot. It's about 200 meters downhill. Uh, nice swimming spot, perhaps picnic area. Um, on a hot day, it's quite pleasant. I don't think we're going down here today. Um, and then, of course, 200 meters back uphill again. That's the way we've come, and that's the way we're going. There's another red sign on that tree up ahead. Okay, that was a nice uphill. It's about 25 to 12. Not that way. This way. Not not that way backwards. This this way forwards. Amsterdam tour. I don't know what that says. Anyway. Yes, yes. The tour is here. I can't do the stuff. Okay, so it's about 20 to 12. I don't think it's that way because we have a red sign against the tree over there pointing pointing to the left. So here we go. Okay, it's about 10 past 12 and we're coming out of the forest now. There's the forest. And here's a red footprint, and there across the road is another red footprint. Sorry, another red footprint. There we go. 
and then we're going that way. And then a little bit along the way, we turn off to the left again through the forest. Okay, it's about quarter past 12, just a little bit, little bit, little way up, up the road. And here's a Boswandelpad forest walk again. All three routes together, going back down that way. Okay. There's a definition of a tree hugger. Tree <laughs> It's about going on to 25 past 12 and here we have uh, one of the scenic spots along the way. It's not so much a panorama view as a natural occurrence of air routes. Just here in front, there's a nice little bridge over the river. And then the uphill stop. Okay, it's about 25 to 1, coming out of the forest, well, coming to a T-junction in the forest. And here it says Sarsveld, and it might seem to be the way to go, that is actually not the way to go, because here we have all three, red, blue and green, all pointing double arrows. Hey guys, go this way, don't go to Sarsveld, even though you want to go to Sarsveld. Sarsveld is this way. And just for further reference, there's an orange spot on the on the tree over there as a marker. Ten to one, and this is a little bit concerning. Um, the red, we're on the red route. The red route and the blue route are closely related, and this to us means we're on our way home. On the same signpost, there's a green route which I interpret to mean as you can take the green route to go home as well. So this should be a shortcut. But I know for a fact from past experience, this isn't a shortcut. This is still this, uh, close to this, uh, not halfway of the green route yet. There's another green route sign. And there's another green route sign on that tree over there down there. And then you still have to make the loop and come back around. So do not be deceived. This is not a shortcut. This is the way home. And it's about one o'clock. And here we are at that broken tree where we turned to the left this morning, going that way. And now we're coming back in from that side. And that's the way home. It's quarter past one, and here's the rejoinder of the old path. I'm 
coming in from there and we've been on this path now we've done the circle route and come back on the way home that way and it's about just past 20 past 27 past 1 here we are back at the Skyman's Right, it's about two o'clock. Here we are, end of a good hike. It's been long, it's been hard. Uh, 18 kilometers, I think my GPS said, but uh, you know, GPS is... Anyway, here we are, it's been good. Thanks everyone. Now we're going home. There are the cars. Just to the right of those big trees.